Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about a few features that are going to be super important on your Tales of Tenorio journey, and they both intertwine quite a lot, with these being Tamer levels and missions. So, let's get straight into it. Tamer levels, in a nutshell, are basically a system where you can do things in the story or outside, just tasks, to level up. Anyway, as you do level up, you will get rewards such as new mechanics, new items, and you get a flex. It could just be thought of as Tales of Tenoria's equivalent of Lumion Legacy's Mastery, if you want to simplify it that far. As expected with a level up system, you obviously have some kind of experience, which can be gained through normal gameplay and actions like obtaining new Tenorians, catching shiny Tenorians, completing story events, completing missions, as well as completing ruptures with friends and completing dungeons. Some examples of special actions to gain EXP are winning PvP battles, trading Tenorians, nuking Uza, and first finds. As for the rewards in more detail, whenever you level up, you may be able to get one of these rewards I'm about to say. Items, Tano Pounds, unlocking new Tenorians, unlocking new items, and unlocking new mission difficulties, as well as so much more. And that's not all that they do. They also modify catch rates, so as you level up, Tenorians will get easier to catch, which is really, really nice. As well as some planned features, such as more save files with the ability to customize them, Unlockable features such as guilds and unlockable Tenorian customization and wild modifiers. Before I continue on to missions, there are a few more things you need to know about Tamer levels. That being, the cap is level 50, and if you grind beyond level 50, you will still get EXP and it will be added on when the cap is upgraded. However, if you do go over that extension of the cap, I think even that caps out at a certain point. Yeah, I'm sorry it's a bit confusing. It's a bit odd, this, but it's still cool nonetheless. And finally, you can see your player name in the like server list of players. It will say like, you know, how many Tenorians you've caught and your tamer level, things like that. And you can access it through your notebook. So. That is everything on Tamer levels, let's get straight into missions. So missions are a key aspect of Tamer levels, but they also have their own individual things. And these missions are split up into three types, daily, weekly, and global, which all have their own unique rewards and quest pools. And on top of this, Missions are split into four different difficulties. Simple, Standard, Master, and Ultimate, with rewards being scaled upon difficulty. Speaking of rewards, Tamer EXP, which is used for Tamer levels, is one of the rewards, as well as a bunch of different items. As for global quests, they will require everyone to take part into completing it. And something like a community day or boosted odds or limited time items will be the reward of them. These global quests are normally triggered by the developers, but can also be an event such as Halloween. And with that, that is basically everything you need to know about missions and tamer levels in Tales of Tomorrow before the game does drop. So, if you guys did find this helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe, it's greatly appreciated. Tales of Tenorio is so close, it's probably going to be like, what, less than 24 hours from when this video goes live, who knows. Anyway, I will see you in another video. Goodbye!